Uh, hey everyone, my name is Misro. People here in Australia call me Don, and I just like to talk a little bit about myself and my journey into martial arts. So I originally got into martial arts because my parents kind of pushed me into Kyushuken Karate, which I did competitively for about three years, and then I just quit. Over the next six years, I was more focused on my academic achievements, which made me very unhealthy, lazy, and just I was just sick all the time, both mentally and physically. And uh, because of the fact that I was out of shape, I got bullied a lot in school. And this kept on happening continuously over a long period of time, which made me an angry kid. And I had trouble managing my anger issues. And somewhere in 2016, I decided that it had to stop. And at that time, I was looking up to people like Muhammad Ali and Arnold Schwarzenegger. So, I decided to take up uh, boxing and uh, just weightlifting. So, which I did that for about two years. And I mean, I got in pretty good shape and I felt kind of confident, but it wasn't really a fulfilling experience for me. And somewhere in December of 2018, I think, this friend of mine, Angelo, he asked me if I wanted to come and try a mixed martial arts session at this place called The Shed. So I was interested and I went along with him that day. Uh, when I walked into class, I had this ego in my head that if you're big and you're strong and you're fast, you can win a fight. And I didn't know anything about other martial arts apart from karate and boxing. And so that day we were doing some drills and this guy set up a choke he was a pretty small dude, so I thought to myself, okay, I can just use my strength and get out of this. And I tried. I had really tried. But for the life of me, I could not get that thing off. And uh, I was like, okay, stop. And then I spoke to my coach, Coach Pragit. And I asked him, okay, coach, like, what was that? He said, okay, that's a triangle choke. It's a basic choke you learn in jiu-jitsu. I was like, um, what's that? And he said, okay, jiu-jitsu is this martial art where you utilize your body. Uh, and you use leverage and technique against bigger and stronger opponents to control and submit them. And I was like, it just blew my mind. And that was the moment I fell in love with Jiu Jitsu. And uh, I've been practicing Jiu Jitsu on and off uh, since that day. But I really took my training seriously um, last year in November of 2019 when I went back to Sri Lanka and started training with Coach D. The number one reason I would say I train jiu-jitsu to this day is more of a personal one which is that it gives me this transcendental state where the five minutes I grapple I'm fully invested in the moment it's like nothing else matters it's this feeling you can't really explain to someone and it's just an amazing feeling to me and that's something you want to keep having which is why I still train the number two reason I would say is for self-defense I would suggest for anyone looking for a self-defense system for yourself, for your brother, sister, kid, whoever it is, do jujitsu. It's never too early and it's definitely gonna be effective and you will feel comfortable in uncomfortable situations. I would say Asajido Jujitsu is the community. We as human beings have a desire to have a longing to belong somewhere and jujitsu gives you that. It gives you a place uh, you belong. Your training partners who you will train with day in and day out, they will end up like your brothers and sisters. And uh, the number four reason I would say is, again, not something many people share, uh, is the competitive aspect of it. So having competed in a grappling championship here in Australia, even though I did technically came third uh it's just an amazing feeling that you have and i know a training partner of mine back home in sri lanka Kaz, she has the same goal as me which is to compete in a world championship one day and win and uh, the number five reason i would say is a mental aspect because uh, jiu-jitsu it is a very stressful environment i would say the example i would give is it's like jumping into the deep end of a swimming pool and learning how to swim it's very stressful, but the thing is that helps you grow. 
and for me it's just that putting yourself in an uncomfortable situation for those two hours for the rest of the 22 hours of your day you feel comfortable in uncomfortable situations so whether you're at work at uni and say your co-worker or colleague is annoying you and you start acting irrationally jujitsu helps you have a perspective of rational and calm mind that you say okay that's fine let me approach this in a more calm and understanding manner it's just um i feel that every day that i train jujitsu it makes me a better person i learn so much more i have a growth mindset and i just have a better perspective on people and life and there are so many more things i can tell you that are the benefits of jiu-jitsu which is hard in this short video is something you really had to experience for yourself but the thing is right now the world is facing a global pandemic and none of us are safe to train it's best we stay home we stay safe we take care of ourselves and we take care of our loved ones but if any of you are in sri lanka or if you're planning to go to sri lanka i would say that once this is all over go to the shed go to bjj sri lanka and try out a session even if you don't end up liking it, if you don't continue with doing jiu-jitsu or any other martial art, it's going to be this experience in 10 years you look back and you can be proud of yourself for taking that action. Even if you do end up getting tapped out 36 times, it's still going to be an amazing experience. You can trust me on that.